you all doing? Thank you all for joining. My name is Adele Eden, um, the Director of Development and the Acting uh, CTO right now at uh, MAP ETS. Uh, I was asked by Stephen, our Director for MAP ETS U University, to actually put this bulletin. So I'm, I'm, this is going to be a really short video. Uh, you all got the link, so I do appreciate it. We have roughly about six people have joined in the webcast right now. Uh, I see some people from UAE. Of course, our Canada folks and a couple people from the U.S., so thank you all for joining. Uh, this is going to be a really short and sweet uh, 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 video because uh, we got, uh, during our some of the RFPs with our large corporations, uh, and I do thank the people from uh, some of the clients that are actually joining in right now uh, from uh, some of the RFPs, they're not even a client yet, so do appreciate it. Thank you all for joining. Uh, the reason we're putting this bulletin real quickly is because what we got uh, some people downloaded our community version and, and uh, they get terrified by seeing uh, the Microsoft, uh, the Facebook, and the Twitter uh, login functionalities. Uh, uh, to calm the fears, this is only uh, for our community version folks. For our large customers, uh, you'll see I'm running actually the commercial version of the product. Uh, you'll see that when you try to log in, it's actually disabled. Uh, depending on the uh, licensing file system that we shipped you, uh, if you actually went through our website, sent an email, uh, and we emailed you a licensing file, uh, most likely you don't have to set, a, set up a database at the back end or whatever. You're actually talking to our back end and you don't have a DB server or administration server. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, we actually putting, uh, univer uh, MAP ETS University is actually putting uh, a whole webcast on uh, infrastructure and how to set up our enterprise uh, because uh, some folks have been asking it and they don't want to come in and take our classes and, uh, you know, they're busy and so forth. We understand. We're going to put really quick webcasts moving forward on how to set up some of this stuff uh, instead of having to come down here to our uh, training classes for train the trainer type of thing. And uh, But if you're still interested, of course, we do offer those uh, four times a year. So you can come in through or we do we do during the RFP period. We do actually do a walkthrough of how things. But again, the reason for this today's webcast, and I want to go over 15 minutes here, or at least I don't want to go over 10 minutes, actually. That's what they told me to do this real quickly. Uh, if you're going through an RFP with us right now, uh, you're, you're a large hospital, you're worried about your security. We're actually extremely secure. We're, we're one of the most secure applications, period. Uh, we actually even encrypt it on the wire. We don't send uh, plain data on the wire. Everything is encrypted. We do take sometimes some penalties for that, but we think for the business we're in and the business our clients are in, that's actually a must. Uh, if you actually uh, have the enterprise version, not the community version, the community version is a free one you download from the App Store. Uh, our uh, community version does have the ability to do a Microsoft, Facebook, and a Twitter depending on how you uh, you email that you want to set it up. If you want to set it up local, uh, you still don't have to do uh, password management. Uh, it's a little bit more involved to set it up, but uh, you can do that. Uh, and you get the services from our cloud at that point. Uh, but most corporations, most large hospitals, most uh, people just join in the last four minutes, uh, going to actually have what we call the enterprise version of uh, Mid Pharma Track. Uh, so if you have that enterprise version, which is what I'm running right now, uh, unfortunately, we the, it is on our roadmap. We will take those out depending on what your licensing file looks like. Uh, so you'll only have, depending on what you want to do, you may still want to do Facebook login for external customers. We You can set up our application, uh, our enterprise application and the admin server to actually do uh, uh, a Facebook or a Microsoft or a LinkedIn, uh, because that's really at the end of the day uh, what we call a federated security. But uh, it's just to calm fear down, uh, once the only thing that are going to be active when you get the corporate version is MAP ETS login and uh, SDS, which is the federated login. Now, I don't have that module installed, so it actually even tells me that my licensing file doesn't even require me, cannot 
do SDS. Uh, and, and that's the federated security. So if you have a third party that you do log in, in your password and so forth, your domain credentials on, on Azure or something like that, or uh, uh, Amazon Web Services, then you can set it up where the login credentials be there. We still actually will do a sync. Uh, the DB server will still do a sync uh, with the AWS or with Azure. Uh, but uh, I'm running it here uh, only with uh, Map ETS login, and that includes LDAP, of course. Uh, if you if you have Map ETS login. Uh, which is the Met Pharma Track applica Enterprise Application Login. You get by default uh, our uh, Enterprise Application Login, which gives you the whole slew of, of functionality, and uh, or you can get LDAP for a smaller permission groups, uh, and and that's even customized. We, we I'm not going to go into details today because this is a bulletin, and I'm already at five minutes here. So uh, just to calm fear down, uh, uh, and for the folks at, uh, at the uh, that just join us and that are going through the process of uh, an RFP right now, uh, we do disable, not disable, you will actually get a version of our bits, our binaries, that does not have that functionality for Microsoft, Facebook, and Twitter even included. So even though you'll see it on the UI side, it will not, there's nothing in there at the back end. And by default, our system is smart enough to actually recognize that some of the modules do not exist. So it will actually uh, just show you that message. Please note the enterprise version of uh, Map Pharma Track uh, Twitter login is disabled, only use community version. So the community version is the only one that allows you to do, to do, uh, to do the login process. So to calm fear down, uh, the purpose of this webcast real quickly is to uh, show you that uh, in the enterprise version, these, those three out here that you still see in the UI well, are actually disabled. Okay. Uh, further, depending on the license file we ship you, uh, that SDS, the federated security, it's what's called secure token services, uh, will be disabled. In reality, really, uh, both Microsoft, Facebook, and Twitter are nothing more than actually an SDS. Uh, in our community version, what we do is we pass through, so uh, you get uh, the login will actually prompt you for Twitter account or for Facebook account, and then it hits our SDS in the cloud, and it passes it through and comes back. And depending on how you set up the security for uh, for the Facebook login, for example, then uh, what they see and what they can do is, is limited. Uh, very soon, we, we are working on an iOS version of this uh, and a Mac version. Uh, we have had some customers who don't want to do Windows. Our uh, Android version is almost out, uh, so uh, expect that soon. Uh, for the configurator. Now for the POS side, it's been out for the Android side and we are porting for the iOS as we speak and we're at that last mile here. So uh, with no further ado here, uh, I'm uh, I'm going to open the floor here for any questions. Uh, again, there's not much that I wanted to, uh, to, in the content of this webcast today is just uh, for, uh, to just call fear downs for some of our larger customers that are coming online. Uh, most of our... Uh, actually, not most. All of our large customers are going to be in-house. Nobody's going to be using our cloud. I know our Canada folks, most of them are on our cloud. So thank you very much for that. Uh, so uh, I don't see any questions coming on on the chat side here. So uh, don't, I, I don't really want to go over 10 minutes here. So we're at almost nine minutes. Uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, uh, just a quick note. Uh, we are... Uh, very soon, we have the French version out uh, for Canada. They, we are working on both an Arabic and a Hebrew version of this, so uh, it's not really a lot of uh, a lot of development. It's it's just changing a lot of the strings so they reflect the language. Uh, again, thank you for coming for this bulletin. I appreciate it. You all have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you soon uh, through another webcast. Hopefully, it'll be uh, more beneficial. Thank you.